Hey everybody, my name is Tom. I play drums for the band Our Dying World. Here to talk to you uh, from MetalRules.com. And uh, so we've got some questions here. Um, our band is Our Dying World. We're from Los Angeles, California. And uh, we play melodic death metal. Um, what drives us as artists to create music? Um, I think a lot of us... Uh, had musical backgrounds, either parents that were into music when we started playing, or, uh, you know, there was a, a soundtrack in a movie we watched, um, and uh, we, you know, me personally, um, I remember uh, being a around a lot of classical music, um, and uh, lots of uh, songs with moving parts in them. Um, I guess as a kid, I was able to kind of pick apart violins and uh, percussion and stuff like that and uh, I kind of gravitated towards uh, being able to isolate those parts in the music um, so when it came to writing my own music um, I think I uh, took a lot of what I had internalized as a child and uh, started putting it into the way uh, the songs were structured um, the band's name comes from uh, it comes from a uh, an outward look on the society we live in. Um, we're not political people uh, by any means, but we wanted to also bring awareness to the fact that we are living in a world that's um, slowly decaying by our own hands. Um, and uh, I think naming the band that, it's not so that we're, you know, trying to push any agendas or anything. We're just saying, here, have a look at what we're doing to ourselves. And, uh, you know, you can decide whether or not you want to be a changing factor in that or you want to just uh, go with the punches. But uh, either way, it kind of brings into question what am I doing to uh, either help or harm my situation and my effect on the world around me. Um, tell us about your album, newest upcoming album. So our new record is called Hymns of Blinding Darkness. Oh, my cat just jumped up here. And, uh, uh, man, where does that come from? Uh, we, you know, it's, it's another, uh, it's another take on the world, uh, in the current state it's in. It's ironic because, um, on the day we released the album, uh, our government passed, um, a law banning abortion in a certain number of states. And, uh, it just kind of went and reinforced the fact that, you know, we, we have some people who are not really interested in the well-being of our country or humanity as a whole. Um, Hymns of Blinding Darkness was meant to just, um, you know, kind of uh, put a put a crosshair on, um, you know, the clergy, the, uh, the world that, the worlds that uh, kind of try to restrict people by their own views and uh, try and pass that into law. So um, it's really ironic <laughs> that uh, that happened on the day we released the album. I think that's very telling. And uh, it just goes to show, you know, the name of the band and the name of the album were not chosen at random. Um, what inspired the lyrics on this release? Give a couple of examples. Um, so between the last album and this one, um, I went through some personal development and um, a lot of the song titles like Everything We Know Is Gone is um, it's indicative of changes I was going through at the time, having to change lifestyles, make some personal um, decisions to better my own life if I wanted uh, situations to get any better. Um, Veil of the Reaper, which is uh, one of the singles, um, it was written in, uh, it was kind of our, our, my swan song to Alexi Leho, who's been a personal hero of mine. And, uh, you know, he, he had a huge impact on, you know, how I, uh, developed myself and my career and my music. And, um, so that was kind of my swan song to him. Uh, Diary of a War Dog was written, um, uh, after a book that my uncle wrote, um, also called Diary of a War Dog, and, you know, we, we had a discussion, and I was like, you know, is it cool if we turn this into a thrash metal song? And he was all about it, and uh, uh, Diary of a War Dog kind of goes through his um, his experience in the Vietnam War and his experience as an Air Force veteran. Um, Survivor is a song about um, 
some personal uh, trauma I had uh, in my younger in my younger years, and um, yeah, it, it tells a lot about a boarding school that I went to that was later investigated about child abuse and the uh, alumni we've lost uh, through suicides and overdoses since uh, the school closed down. There was some psychological damage there. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there suffering, so I decided to address that. And uh, that was my way of getting out some personal trauma of my own. Um, is there any story behind the, uh, the album cover artwork? Um, well, when we decided on Hymns of Blinding Darkness, we wanted to play to that theme. So we have these shadowy figures, looks like a cult um, in a darkened area, you know, looks like the ruins of, you know the ends of the earth and uh you know they're all carrying torches and um we wanted to play on that as much as we could um so you know we went with the hooded figures and we went with the um the culty theme and that kind of seemed appropriate for where the album was headed uh is there any new albums that have caught your ears oh man um you know personal favorite of mine is the new amorphous record those guys know how to write a tune, man. Um, they are... Every record just keeps getting better and better. Um, I think that was one of the ones that really kind of... I got stuck on for a little bit. Fantastic melodic death metal. Um, and uh, another personal favorite of mine has always been uh, Winter Sun's Time One. I think that's one of the best metal compositions. Bar none. I think it's got everything you want in a good melodic death metal record. It's got cleans, it's got growls, it's got blast beats, it's got, um, you know, atmospheric, slow parts. It's so good. Um, tell us a little bit about your local music scene. Well, we're in Los Angeles. I'm, I'm personally in Long Beach, so it's just south of L.A., but um, still, uh, the scene could not be better. Um, I think this is my favorite place to, you know, play and go to shows and, do, you know, every tour, every band every major um musical event makes a stop through here and uh we're really i'm I'm really lucky to live in a place with such a, a fantastic and diverse metal scene um the local scene is thriving there's always a show going on every single night of the week some bigger than others but yeah they're all they're all great um there's a lot of people here who i've met through the course of, you know, going to school over at Musicians Institute and just being in a, a local band. And, uh, yeah, everybody's got fire, man. Everybody's got passion. Everyone's trying to, everybody's trying to get it done, you know. It's a, it's a really great place to play music. Um, there's a bit of competition, as, as is anywhere, you know. I think when you put people together of any caliber, they're going to try and, um, healthily i hope compete and be the best they can be you know um there's a lot of local bands that have inspired us to take things up the next level and it's like hey man like if we're gonna if we're gonna make a name for ourselves we gotta we gotta do more we gotta be more and uh yeah everybody keeps each other working hard and really really creative it's great man you can find a little bit of everything here it's great Future plans for the band. Um, well, since we've released the record, we uh, we want to just keep playing it as much as we can. Um, uh, we got some shows across the uh, Inland Empire and across the high desert. Um, of course, here in L.A. and Long Beach. And uh, we played our record release show in Santa Ana, which went exceptionally well. Um, it's great, man. Uh, we want to just keep playing and, and, you know, hopefully moving them up moving on up to the um the circuit where we can we can start being a local support for for headlining acts that come through um and uh you know national tours and stuff like that we want to start going from you know high tier locals to you know the lower end of the national touring circuit uh that's the next step you know logistically um i think to push ourselves any farther is just being a little unrealistic but um you know, another record or two, we'll have our names on the map for sure. Why does metal rule? And if you think it doesn't, then why are you playing in a metal band? Well, there's no chance that metal does not rule. Metal is the best fucking music genre there is. Uh, no one will be able to convince me otherwise. Um, 
the people, the music, the energy, the passion, the fire, the partying, it's all it's all top tier, man. If you want to be at home and uh for example, uh, a friend of mine and we play in another band and uh or me and myself and my guitar player Ray um uh, we play in a band called Throne into Exile and we were playing a show and this is, we found dude hanging around after it was his first metal show ever and he was like bro i had no idea i thought this was all angry people and stuff he was like dude these are some of the nicest people i've ever met and the music is just crazy i was like man that's why we do what we do man we take our anger out uh in another way and you know we got good people around us you know most times and uh Dude, metal's the best musical genre in the world. That's why I play it. That's why I live it. And uh, metal fucking rules, dude. Horns up. Uh, so thank you, MetalRules.com. It's a pleasure to do this uh, uh, video interview for you. Um, please check out Hymns of Blinding Darkness from Our Dying World. Um, you can find us at uh, www.OurDyingWorld.com. Facebook.com slash OurDyingWorldOfficial, I believe. Instagram.com slash Our Dying World, Twitter.com slash Our Dying World, the number 11. And uh, yeah, man, anywhere you can stream music. Um, Spotify, iTunes, Deezer, uh, we're on all of them. So thank you very much. Hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers.